Okay, so remember when we talked about the Figure Zero 2 robot a few days ago? At that point, it was just the initial hype and we only knew a few specs. But now that we have the full details, this thing is actually insane. This robot represents a legitimate breakthrough in humanoid robots. And if that wasn't crazy enough, there's a new AI robot, Dentist, that just performed fully autonomous dental surgery on a live patient without any human help. It's wild to think about. These developments are super exciting, so let me break down why they're such a big deal. All right, first off, let's talk about the design. Figure zero two looks like it means business. If you remember figure zero one, it had this kind of bulky chrome metal look, almost like it was wearing a suit of armor. That was cool and all, but the new model has gone for a sleeker matte black finish that makes it look more like a high-end sports car than a medieval knight. The reason behind this is that figure zero one was designed to withstand endless hours of testing in the lab, so it had to be over-engineered to handle the wear and tear. But now that figure zero two is closer to a production model, they've refined everything making it look and move more like something you'd actually see working on a production line. One of the big changes they made is with the cabling. In figure zero one, the wires were pretty much all over the place, purposefully exposed for easy fixes and adjustments during testing. But with figure zero two, everything is tucked away inside the limbs. Not only does this make it look cleaner, but it also protects the cables from the environment, which is crucial if you're going to have these robots working long shifts in a factory setting. And speaking of working long hours, the battery on this thing has been seriously upgraded. Figure zero two now has a battery that gives it over 50% more energy compared to the first model. The battery is integrated into the robot torso, which is a smart move because it brings the center of mass closer to the middle of the robot's body. This design tweak makes figure zero two more balanced and nimble, so it can move around more efficiently while carrying out tasks. Now let's get into the tech that really makes this robot stand out. First, the hands. Figure zero two has hands with 16 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move its fingers and wrist in a way that's almost as flexible as a human hand. And these hands aren't just for show, they've got some serious strength. The robot can carry up to 25 kilograms, which is about 55 pounds. That's a pretty big jump from figure zero one, which could only handle 20 kilograms. The goal here is for the robot to manipulate objects just like a human would, and they're getting pretty close to that. But it's not just about strength, it's also about smarts. Figure zero two is equipped with six onboard cameras that give it a full view of its surroundings. These cameras feed into a vision language model that helps the robot make sense of what it's seeing. So whether it's picking up objects, avoiding obstacles, or just navigating its environment, figure zero two can do it all on its own. This is a massive leap forward in terms of autonomy, and it's made possible by a partnership with OpenAI. And speaking of OpenAI, one of the coolest features of figure zero two is its ability to understand and respond to voice commands. You might remember seeing some videos of this from earlier in the year where the robot was interacting with humans through speech. Hey, figure one, what do you see right now? I see a red apple on a plate in the center of the table, a drying rack with cups and a plate, and you standing nearby with your hand on the table. Well, they've taken that to the next level. The new model has three times the computation power and AI inference capabilities compared to figure zero one. This means it can process information and carry out tasks much faster faster and more efficiently. This voice interaction isn't just for simple commands either. Figure zero two can actually hold conversations thanks to onboard microphones and speakers that are connected to custom AI models developed with open AI. So you can literally talk to this robot like you would with a coworker and it'll understand what you're saying and respond accordingly. Where do you think the dishes in front of you go next? The dishes on the table, like that plate and cup, are likely to go into the drying rack next. It's like having a conversation with ChatGPT, but instead of just text, you've got a full-on humanoid robot standing in front of you ready to get to work. Now, the real kicker here is that this isn't just some lab prototype anymore. Figure AI has partnered with BMW and they've already deployed these robots in a plant in South Carolina. They've been running tests to see how well the robot can handle tasks in a real industrial environment, and the results are looking pretty promising. This isn't just some flashy tech demo. 
This robot is actually out there, learning and performing tasks in a factory setting. Figure AI is clearly pushing hard to make humanoid robots a reality in the next few years. They've raised a whopping $675 million to keep the momentum going, and they're not slowing down anytime soon. With competitors like Tesla's Optimus and Boston Dynamics Atlas also in the mix, we're on the brink of seeing these robots move from the lab to the production floor on a large scale. So if you thought humanoid robots were still a thing of the future, think again. And keep an eye on this one because it's only going to get more interesting from here. All right, now check this out. Something absolutely groundbreaking just went down in the world of AI and robotics. For the first time ever, a robot has performed fully autonomous surgery on a live patient. We've now got a robot dentist that can handle certain dental procedures all by itself, no human intervention needed. This is huge, and it could completely transform how we think about healthcare and AI. Imagine lower costs, no more waiting times, since we can basically make as many of these robots as we need, and eventually, maybe even better service than what we're used to. And who knows, we might even see a day when we have our own personal dentist AI robot at home. I know it sounds wild, but with this breakthrough, it's not that far-fetched anymore. The company behind this innovation is called Perceptive, and they've been working on this for a while. What they've created is essentially a robot that combines AI, 3D imaging, and robotics to perform dental procedures like placing crowns. Now normally, getting a crown would take two separate visits to the dentist, with each visit lasting at least an hour. But with Perceptive's robot, that whole process can be done in just 15 minutes. Imagine the time and stress that could save. Here's how it works. The robot uses something called a 3D volumetric data procedure to diagnose the issue and plan the treatment. It starts with an OCT scan, optical coherence technology, using a handheld intraoral scanner developed by Perceptive. This scan is super detailed, capturing 3D images that go beneath the gum line, through fluids, and even under the surface of the tooth. What's really cool is that this whole process doesn't expose the patient to any of the ionizing radiation you'd usually get from traditional x-rays. The robot doesn't just stop at scanning. Perceptive's AI algorithms take that 3D data and translate it into a precise plan for the surgery. The result? A robot that can diagnose and treat dental issues with an accuracy rate of over 90%. That's not only super efficient, but it also cuts down on the chances of human error. Plus, the detailed images from the scan help patients actually see and understand what's going on with their teeth, which is a nice bonus. Now, the real question is, is this all just a pipe dream or could we actually see it in action anytime soon? Well, the truth is it's going to take some time. Perceptive's robot has already performed a fully autonomous dental procedure on a patient in Colombia, but it's not ready for widespread use just yet. The system still needs to get approval from the US Food and Drug Administration, FDA, before it can be rolled out on a larger scale. According to Perceptive's CEO, Chris Siriello, we're probably looking at about five years before they can get that FDA green light. But the potential here is huge. Perceptive has already raised $30 million in funding with some pretty big names getting behind it, like Mark Zuckerberg's dad, Dr. Edward Zuckerberg. He's a dentist himself and has been a vocal supporter of this technology. Dr. Zuckerberg has even pointed out that the robot is designed to operate safely, even if the patient moves around during the procedure, which is a major concern when you're dealing with something as precise as dental surgery. Now, if Perceptive's robot gets FDA approval, we could be looking at a new era of dental care, one where robots handle routine procedures quickly, efficiently, and with minimal human involvement. That could free up dentists to focus on more complex cases and allow them to see more patients in less time, ultimately improving the quality of care. Of course, Perceptive needs to release peer-reviewed studies to prove that their robot is as safe and effective as they claim. And then there's the whole issue of public perception. Are people ready to trust a robot with something as personal as their dental care? I don't know, but I would. And whether you find it exciting or a little bit scary, it's hard to deny that the future of healthcare is going to look a lot different and a lot more robotic than what we're used to. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.